think we'll have time to get everything done. Actually, looks like it. <laughs> the chances don't start going up till about eight o'clock. So, hopefully. Where do you live, right? I live in Crestline. Oh, you're here. Area. Okay. Yes, sir. For some reason, I thought you lived away. What do you do? I work for my family business uh, called APS, Alabama Professional Services. So we, uh, we actually do work in Montgomery as well. Uh, foundation repair, basement waterproof. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah so. That Charles? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They are advertising like crazy in Montgomery. Yes, With good reason. Yes, yeah, so, uh, that's right. Prairie mud. Yeah, that Montgomery Souls. It's, uh, oh, my gosh. Montgomery, Prattville. That's not the best and then got a lot of we get a lot of rain and then we got this drought right now mm -hmm. so a lot of foundation issues this what half my house was built around 1940 mm -hmm. the other half in the 70s probably early 80s 70s probably I've got two sets of screw holes for the latches on my outside doors because <laughs> just have to move them mm -hmm. That's when it's dry, they're at one yeah. place. When it's wet, there's another. <clears throat> and then the, a lot of the, what I see a lot down there is there's a lot of slab homes. Okay. And so everybody's slabs are just busted. And well, you know where Wind Lake sits. Yes, sir. I'm sure you've been in there. Yeah. <clears throat> that first coming from Vaughn Road coming in, those yeah. first houses, those were the first ones built in the 80s, early 80s. And uh, they said, there's not a single one of those houses that don't have to crack that wire down the middle of them. Yeah. Now, I, my first house, when we moved in 94, I built in the next little shop, uh, subdivision on the far side of Wind Lakes. My builder dug down eight feet to the chalk line and compa compacted. Hello. How are you? Brent? I'm good. How are you holding up? Good. Wonderful. Good. Now. Yeah, Earlier it'll get better. <laughs> we dug eight feet, compound, compacted Dirt. red clay yeah. there and two feet above so it'd have a little elevation on it. And as far as I know, that's the only house that had cracked. Wow. So, but the, 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 the we used none plate. of slab. slab. Yeah. They, uh, the glue down floors they did. And then would completely stick. I mean, walk through in the middle of the night, and it popping. And then the other thing, I don't, do you have gutters? No, nobody will put a gutter up in I don't Montgomery. Understand. Why? Oh, it'll just rot everything out. You're asking the wrong guys. I've got a few gutters, you don't but need not gutters much. On, on all those I know. houses. I don't Maybe understand that. that. Uh, you know, I've so never been in a house, uh, until I got to Montgomery, I'd never been in a house without gutters. <laughs> I wish somebody had told me he wasn't going to wear socks. I'd have brought him some. Is it going to get us? Hmm? Is it going to get us? Wow. Yeah, it's in this city. Rain's in this just barely, yeah, yeah it's just, just coming up on the line. We're good. It, it wasn't good to be 10 minutes late, was it? No. Michael Corleone. <laughs> Jump to the brook. 
break this thing off. It's right in my head. What you gonna do? Hey, buddy. Holland's made her a new friend. Yeah. Louise is in love with her, I think. Yeah. Here she comes. Who's going to rings? 
They're giving them their keys. I don't think that he's going to stay. You trust the key rings to the kids. <clears throat> I see a hand grip there. <laughs> He's going to go melt them down. <laughs> Has he got the rings? Can I have the rings? No. Please? Where are the rings? They don't have them. Keith has them. Right? No. Keith doesn't have them. They said you have them. They were supposed to have them. I don't know where the rings are. See, you have the rings? We're going to need them. Maybe you're not getting married today after all. <laughs> She's gonna find her. Oh, here she is. Stand, please. I didn't know where she was coming from. Y'all be seated, please. <clears throat> well, let me say good afternoon to everybody. And thank you on behalf of the happy couple so much for being here and for sharing in this special day with them. I apologize. The wind was such that uh, we couldn't use the microphone. So hopefully everybody can hear me and I'm not going to explode any eardrums here on the first row. But uh, um, we want to want to say that so many of you all have been instrumental in helping their relationship get to this point. But we're asking that all of you continue to encourage them, advise them, and pray for their union well past this day so that it will grow and flourish and last for a lifetime. Michael and Cassidy also want you to know that this is a Christian wedding. They're both strongly committed to their relationship with the Lord, and they regard him as a third partner in their wedding vows. They want, to be God, they want God to be at the center of their relationship as long as they live. They also want Jesus Christ to receive glory, honor, and praise at this service because he lives and reigns in their hearts, and they believe firmly that it is only through his strength that their marriage will reach its fullest potential. So with that in mind, would you join me as we pray? Lord, we welcome you here to this wedding today. Thank you for being with us and thank you for bringing Cassidy and Michael together. For Lord, we know that you ordained this day a long, long time ago. Thank you, Father, that we can celebrate today with them. We pray that you will bless their marriage and grant them a long and happy life together. Bless them with good health, 
prosperity, and much joy. Lord, and we ask that you would remind each of us here today to encourage them, to pray for them, and to help them as they celebrate their victories and work through their problems together. Lord, help us to be good friends. It's in the strong name of Jesus we pray. Bless this happy day and use it for your glory. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together, make me laugh, to join together Cassidy Marie Sims and Michael Keith Woods in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, that, which, that holy estate which Christ adorned and beautified in his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. If any here can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or else hereafter after forever hold their peace. <laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Okay. Don't step on the press. Michael and Cassidy, I require and charge you both as you stand here in the presence of God before whom the, sec before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to each other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate as God's word demands, and if you steadfastly endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, He will grant you fulfillment in it, and He will establish your home in peace. Michael Keith Woods, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health Forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live. I do. And Cassidy Marie Sims? Is that a question? I, no. Uncertainty? <laughs> That's me. Oh. I wasn't sure. I'm excited. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Cassidy Marie Sims, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him so long as you both shall live? All right. Michael, repeat after me. I, Michael, take thee, Cassidy. I, Michael, take thee, Cassidy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my faith. And thereto I pledge thee my faith. I, Cassidy, take thee, Michael. I, Cassidy, take thee, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. 
according to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my faith. And thereto I pledge thee. Cassidy and Michael have, have chosen two wonderful passages of scripture that they wanted me to share with you on this special day. First is from Ecclesiastes 4, where Solomon says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labors. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. And a cord of three strands is not easily broken. And then in Colossians 3, the Apostle Paul writes these words, And above all else, put, the, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This is going to get dicey. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. It signifies to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of, of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So take your right hand with your right hand. There you go. Repeat after me. <clears throat> in token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so repeat after me. In token and in pledge, in token and in pledge of, our constant faith of our constant faith and abiding love, and abiding love with, this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. One thing I wanted to mention, if it's all right, Keith said something, I, I think he knew how profound it was, but as I've chewed on it since last night, really was profound. And that was the importance of commitment and love. If you're committed to God first and then to each other, and you love God first and each other following that, a marriage can be such a wonderful thing, can it? So. Just wanted to reinforce those words. You ready for the, the good part? <laughs> for as much as Michael Keith Woods and Cassidy Marie Sims have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other and declared the same by the joining of hands and by the giving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, 
let no man put asunder. Amen. Michael and Cassidy have requested that their first official act as husband and wife be the taking of the Lord's Supper. And I think it's really fitting and proper since they believe that Christ has to be in the center of their relationship in order for it to reach its fullest potential. But before we take communion, Michael and Cassidy, and we may be challenged by this with the wind, I prayed, tried to keep the rain away, but I forgot to pray about the wind. So the candles are a little tough, uh, but they wanted to uh, remember Cassidy's two grandmothers, Mary, Mary Edith Moss and Victoria Koska Hopping, Michael's aunt, Mary Ann Spina Dunlap, Michael's cousin, Jonathan Andrew Dunlap, and their dear friend, John Michael Pierce. Uh, these dear ones are missing here today, but they are with us in spirit at this moment. So please honor them with a moment of silence while Cassidy and Michael try to light the candles. Before we participate in the, the Lord's Supper, I want to read again Paul's writings in 1 Corinthians. He says, For I received from the Lord what I passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat in remembrance of me. This is my body which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then after the supper, he took the cup and he said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you drink of this, do so in remembrance of me. And so whenever we drink this cup and eat this bread, as Paul says, we are proclaiming the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Father, pour out your Holy Spirit on Michael and Cassidy and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for these two wonderful children the body and blood of Christ, that they may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. And the blood of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ given for you. Will you pray with me, please? <clears throat> Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior Jesus Christ and for consecrating in his name the marriage covenant of Michael and Cassidy. Grant that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and that it may grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in this world. Defend them from every enemy Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. 
Finally, by your grace, O Lord, bring them and all of us to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Also the same Jesus who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Michael, you can kiss your bride. And now it's my high honor and privilege to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Keith Woods. Oh. <laughs> hey, Chandra, you can wear it now. Don't put that on me. I do. I've never had a bride make me laugh before. Come on, Riley, you get the good part. Too pretty girl. Don't fight over him now. Playing through. Did somebody hit that ball? Did somebody hit that ball? Did they just do that? Again, thank y'all so much for being here. On behalf of the families, I want to remind you cocktail hour starts now on the terrace here, and then we'll move inside before the weather starts. So please come enjoy. <laughs>